What were the 10 most popular financial terms of 2021? I stumbled across an article from Investopedia where based on their reader data, they shared the top 10 financial terms this year. I'll link to that article in the video description, but let's get straight into it in true top of the pops countdown fashion. Starting with number 10, conservatorship. We've got good old Britney <gasps> Spears to thank for this one. Spears, once considered to be the queen of pop, fought a fraught legal battle to regain control of her finances and her life. Back in 2008, Spears was hospitalized to receive treatment for her mental health issues, and her father, Jamie Spears, was granted temporary conservatorship for his daughter and for her finances. A Los Angeles court made that temporary order permanent not long after, and then the battle began. Earlier this year, the New York Times produced a documentary called Framing Britney Spears, adding fuel to the existing hashtag free Britney campaign, with Britney and her lawyers fighting to have that conservatorship removed. It was finally terminated in November and the whole messy saga gave conservatorship abuse mainstream attention. Here in the UK we don't have conservatorship. The equivalent here is called deputyship and it involves the course of protection granting the power on behalf of someone who lacks mental capacity to make their own decisions. Deputyship can be avoided by putting in place your own lasting power of attorney where you decide who will make your financial and health decisions in the event that you lose mental capacity in the future. Putting a lasting power of attorney in place is just as important as writing a will and I urge everyone to have one especially to avoid the course of protection appointing a deputy on your behalf should that ever be needed. Before I share number nine, can you do me a small favor and just click on the like button? It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, helping me to get these videos in front of more viewers and to grow our channel. Go and give that like button a quick click. Coming in at number nine is short interest. Now, one of the especially fun investment moments from 2020 during the height of the pandemic was all the madness around meme stocks. Remember GameStop? That all kicked off in August 2020, and by the start of this year, 2021, we saw a surge in short covering and panic buying applied to those same meme stocks, including the likes of AMC Entertainment and also BlackBerry. This was all part of the continued short squeeze applied to hedge funds and other institutional investors, which forced them to dump their short positions, losing stacks of cash in the process. And at number eight, in a further sign of investor madness, we have non-fungible token or NFT. NFTs aren't new, they were first minted back in 2014, but they hit the headlines in 2021 after former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey created an NFT based on his first ever tweet, which subsequently sold for $2.9 million. NFTs are utterly bonkers, and much like many cryptocurrencies in that they are trashing the planet, they're using massive amounts of electricity to run the transactions. It's an unregulated industry, it's packed full of money laundering and fraud. Artists out there get ripped off when their original artwork is plagiarized by NFT creators, and many of the NFT projects out there are inherently worthless. It's all nonsense. If you see someone spending millions of dollars on pixel art from the Lazy Ape Yacht Club, for example, just right click and save the image to your phone. Congratulations, now you own the image too without wasting any money or killing the planet for the privilege. Let's keep the silliness going then. Coming in at number seven, we've got Dogecoin. Oh dear, another meme, but somehow entered the world of investing, or at least the world of gambling and speculation. Dogecoin is based on an internet meme from back in 2013, and it was meant to be a joke. But for some reason, people started taking it seriously. I say people, a subset of crypto speculators. Its price rose 2,760% this year, but its value remained at zero. One driver behind the popularity of Dogecoin in 2021 were the tweets from Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who has supported the coin for a couple of years now. Another meme coin to grab mainstream attention in 2021 was Shiba Inu, also based on a dog breed, also worthless. Coming in at number six, and back to more serious investing grounds now, we've got the term in environmental, social, and corporate governance, or ESG investing. There's nothing new about ESG investing, but it continued to rise in mainstream popularity this year. In fact, my own firm of chartered financial planners, Informed Choice, applied an ESG overlay to our entire fund selection process earlier this year, wholeheartedly embracing positive impact investing. Investopedia pointed out that ESG was consistently one of the most popular terms each month in 2021, with assets in ESG-related funds reaching 300 
330 billion dollars in September and expected to continue rising strongly. One factor likely to be driving this surge in interest in ESG investing this year was the spate of natural disasters around the world, including record high temperatures and fires in Canada and flooding in Germany. We still need a unified definition of ESG investing. There is still too much greenwashing within the ESG sector and investment funds that claim to be ESG that probably are not. Don't automatically believe what you read on the tin. But in the opinion of this chartered financial planner, ESG investing done well is the only future for all investing. And number five, for mostly US-based reasons, is child tax credit. Part of the American Rescue Plan 2021 was some temporary changes to the child tax credit, making it a near universal monthly child allowance from July onwards at $250 or $300 a child, but only lasting until January 2022. In the UK, we've got child tax credit too if you qualify for working tax credit. We've also got child benefit, but that gets clawed back if the highest earner in your household earns more than £50,000 a year, a particularly nasty tax for the middle class. And coming in at number four, we're back in silly territory here with the term HODL. HODL is what happens when you introduce idiots to crypto speculation. Basically, the house of cards that is cryptocurrency relies on speculators holding their investments and not selling. The term HODL dates back to 2013, when a user on an online forum urged new speculators to hold onto their coins, but typed HODLing instead of holding. More recently, we've seen HODL extended from cryptocurrency speculation into meme stock speculation too. Basically, anywhere a fool and his money are easily parted or influenced by other speculators on Reddit forums, you'll likely hear this battle cry. Please don't sell your coin or stock or I'll lose a massive amount of money. Hoddle. Coming in at number three, perhaps unsurprisingly, is a huge finance theme of 2021 and likely to be an even bigger issue in 2022. Yes, it's inflation. Price inflation rocketed this year thanks to a potent combination of global supply chain issues and rising consumer demand for goods and services as pandemic restrictions eased. What was initially thought to be temporary or transitory became a little more stubborn. And as recently as this month, the Bank of England finally blinked and hiked interest rates in response from 0.1% to 0.25%. We know that next year, the US Federal Reserve plans to follow suit with as many as four rate rises to tackle rising inflation. And number two, fiat money. As interest in cryptocurrencies continues to rise, more people are trying to understand the difference between real or fiat money and digital coins. Fiat money is currency issued by a government and it's not backed by a physical commodity such as gold. It is however backed by the government that issues the money and backed by the entirety of the economy of its economic activity. Fiat currencies include the US dollar, pound sterling and euros. And then at number one we've got capital gains tax again for largely US reasons but it's also relevant here in the UK too. This also relates to a US proposal, the American Families Act, designed to get rid of several tax breaks and loopholes that benefited high net worth individuals. Capital gains would be taxed as ordinary income in the US for taxpayers with a taxable income above $1 million. And the top marginal income tax rate would be increased to 39.6%. As well as this change, there was widespread debate in the US about higher capital gains taxes for billionaires, including their unrealized capital gains. That debate prompted Tesla CEO Elon Musk to share several tweets about his tax situation. In one instance, polling his followers about selling some Tesla shares to realize gains and therefore pay tax on the profits. So the 10 most popular financial terms from 2021, which were your favorites? Let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, press that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my videos. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, I'm Martin Bamford. Remember, when it comes to your money, the more you know, the faster it can grow.